We're all looking for ways to save money, and if there's an Aldi near you, you can definitely pocket some cash on groceries. With Aldi blowing up the US market, you'll likely find yourself heading to this European favorite very soon. But like anywhere else, not everything is a great buy. Here are some of the worst foods you'll find in the aisles of Aldi. Pre-ripened avocados You've got a few options when it comes to Aldi avocados, one of which happens to be the pre-ripened variety. Is there anything avocados can't pull off? No. These avos are more expensive, and according to The Guardian, that's not the only thing that makes them a thumbs down. There are no real regulations on ready-to-use avocados, and oftentimes they're not actually ripe at all. Plan ahead, spend less, and skip these tricky aldicados. Overpriced chicken and turkey. One of Aldi's biggest draws is their great deals. But there aren't deep discounts on everything. When Clark.com compared Aldi, Kroger, and Walmart, Aldi's chicken and turkey were regularly priced higher than at least one of their competitors. Cheat Sheet found the same and recommends checking the sale prices at other stores before settling on turkey at Aldi. Subpar butter. Really good butter can be the difference between an okay dish and a great one, but butter prices have been on the rise, and not just at Aldi. So since you're going to be paying for it, you might as well get your money's worth with a top-rated brand like Kerrygold. According to The Kitchen, it's the year-round green grass that Kerrygold's cows graze on that makes the difference. So skip the other brands and go for the good stuff at Aldi. Sugar-packed cereal Let's face it, sugary cereals taste so good. But they're not so good for you, and Aldi's got some sugar bombs hiding on its shelves. According to The Telegraph, Aldi's Harvest Morn Choco Rice saw an 18.2% increase in sugar content from 2012 to 2015, and Choice rated some of Aldi's cereals 2.5 out of 5 stars for being loaded with sugar and salt. When it comes to Aldi cereals, read your labels carefully. Cheap Milk and Veggies Aldi has been accused of seriously pressuring dairy farmers. Selling cheap milk means sourcing it at a lower price, and in 2012, The Guardian reported that some dairy farmers were facing bankruptcy thanks to discount stores like Aldi. And the same goes for that low cost on produce. In 2014, the Irish Farmers Association condemned Aldi for reducing rates for sourced veg by as much as 10%. And when Aldi didn't pay, farmers couldn't keep their businesses in the black. In 2016, AgriLand reported that farmers even started protesting at Aldi stores. If it saves the world's farms, paying a few pennies more is worth it. Poorly processed fish. Can anyone tell me where fish come from? Yes, 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 Aldi. In October 2017, the AP reported that some brands of fish, including Aldi's Sea Queen, were being processed in China by North Korean workers. Further investigation found the North Korean government took as much as 70% of these workers' salaries, siphoning money from China into North Korea. Check that fish for Chinese origins to know what business you're truly supporting. Eggs from Unhappy Chickens In 2016, Aldi announced that all their eggs would be cage-free by 2025. But as of mid-2018, while there are free-range eggs available at many locations, Aldi says they, quote, respond to customer demand, which means not every egg comes from a happy chicken. According to Ethical Consumers' findings, the low-priced eggs Aldi stocks are labeled enriched cage, which isn't exactly cruelty-free. Until all of Aldi's hens are happily cage-free, be extra careful when selecting your eggs. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this other cool stuff we know you'll love too.